Joanna. Hello everyone. Please tell us how to play Race to Infinity. So the aim of the game is to get to infinity with 200 credits. Where do you start from? You start from this red square that says zero. Okay. You can go, when you roll, you can go forward or backwards. But if you go backwards, say you've got eight and you go one, two, three, four, five, you can't go six, seven, eight. Okay. You have to go the same way that you started going. Okay. And with the dice, when you in a normal board game, when you roll the dice, where are the dice? Can you roll the dice? Yes. Okay. What, what What's there? Seven and two. Okay. So in a normal board game, you'd move, most people would move nine spaces, isn't it? Okay. But in Race to Infinity, what would you do with the seven and the two to determine how many number of spaces to move? You could, Well, in this case, you can't divide it, but you can subtract it add it together and you can multiply. Okay, so in most infinity you have four options of what to do with the dice. You can add them, you can subtract them, you can multiply them or divide them. In this case where you've rolled a 7 and a 2, you cannot divide if it's going to give you a remainder, right? That's what it says in the rules. Yes. Okay, all right. Um, and so how do you get 200 tokens, uh, sorry, 200 credits? How do you go and win? So say if I got a five and a one, I could times it and go here and go to a money token spot. The blue circles is a money token spot. So if you land on one of the blue token spots, mm -hmm. you can collect one of these. See, I've got a hundred here. Okay. If I go on, if I land on another token spot, I've got another hundred here. Mm -hmm. but you keep it a secret. Okay. So there are two hundred. So your 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 other players would not know when you have no. two hundred credits, and sometimes it could be even less that you'd have when you pick up the credits mm -hmm. tokens. Yeah. Okay. And what are those? What are these? These are luck cards, mm -hmm. and if you land on one of these silver stars, mm -hmm. then you can collect a luck card. They can be good or bad. Here it's. And it can be okay. This one's okay because it says, roll one die. If the number displayed is an odd number, move that number of spaces. Otherwise, stay put. Okay. And then, what about this spots? Um, the retry spots. Can you tell us what that is? What happens when you land So, on? if you land on one of the retry spots, you can roll again. Two and one. So, you one. get to roll again if you land on one of the retry spots, mm -hmm. yeah? I got two okay. and one. Uh -huh. So, this is an odd way, so if you put 2 and 1, that would equal 3. So you had to go 1, 2, 3, because right here it says odd. Okay, so with your combination you of the dice, you can either go whatever your your final value is mm -hmm. with your combination of the dice, whether you add them, subtract them. Or you them, could go the even way and go 1, 2. Or multiply two them, one, or divide them. You can go even if, the num if your final value is even, yes. and you can go the odd way go the opposite direction, just as it says on the retry spots, yeah? Yes. Okay. And how do you then go inside to try and get to infinity? Can you just go to infinity from where you are now? No. If you roll, like, I've got 200 credits, 2 and 5. If I got 20 and I move there, you can't just automatically go in. On your next go, you have to try and roll two and seven so that's nine there are ten spaces between that's if you're add, adding them yeah yes okay um, so hold on you've got two so, okay. you can't go in unless you've got 200 so you have to have 200 credits and then you can start to try and go in to get to infinity which is yes. here right okay and, and you when must you get land, to infinity you win you must land but in you, one of these three yes, spaces one yeah? of these three spaces to be able to start going in towards infinity between. oh yeah. just a tip the whole board like the outside square it's 60 spaces yeah. um because if you just got if you get 80 and you have to keep on counting 60 and then another 20 that would take long so you could just go 60 okay. and from it from here to here is 20 from here to here is 20 from here to here is 20 it's just an so you don't way. have to be counting around the board, yes. you can just know. And from here to here is five spaces, five. isn't it? And and from here to here 
is five. Is also five. So you can From count here to easily. here is ten as well. So and you, here to here is twelve. Oh wait, I just told you that. <laughs> yeah, from here to here is is, is ten as well, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you can actually jump places by counting quicker. If yeah? you've got fifteen, you could just go ten, fifteen. Okay, now the very quicker. last thing, Anna, when you um when you're trying to go in, when you're going round the bud. You can go as many times as you want around the board, yes. or you may not need to get to go a full circle, yeah? And you can go backwards and forwards, yes? yes? Now, if you land in a space that already has somebody's token in there, token piece ah. in there, what happens? So, so that's there. I, um, on that token spot with him, I collect some money, a hundred again. And That's then, because you were on a token spot, yeah? Yes. Okay. And say that person had a hundred, mm -hmm. I would either tell them to collect money, mm -hmm. they would have to put the hundred away and try and find a fifty. For Why would they have to do that? So fifty so they because you have to pay fifty to the other person. Okay. But if you've got a hundred, there's fifty for okay, each. Okay, so when you land on a space that there's somebody on already you can either choose to collect 50 credits from them mm -hmm. charge them 50 credits or you banish them to what we call the odd, odd lock, lock or and the evens even lock or the evens lock yeah okay can you just determine which one you go you you determine don't you if you're banning me because you've yes. landed in a space that i belong i'm standing i'm sitting there and i you and can just I send me choose, you can choose to send me to the odds lock and how do i come out if you roll two odds, here I rolled a nine and a three, mm -hmm. you can get out. But if you don't roll, then you'll still roll two even numbers. Okay. Then you're not out. All right, Anna. So and you need two you odds. Oh, hold yeah. on. Okay. You need two odds to come out of the odds lock. Yeah. And you need two evens to come out of the evens lock. And you land there when you come out and you can continue to move around. Sometimes it could be a blessing in disguise because if you already have 200 credits, you can just come out and land there and actually start to go in, yeah? Yes. To win, you need a combination of the dice to get the final number of spaces to actually land on there. You have to land on there, isn't it? To actually go and win. And if you... So here we rolled a three and a five. If I rolled two evens number, even numbers... Yeah, we have to or, finish up now, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. but one even or one odd, then if you if you don't come out of the lock mm -hmm. for five times, okay. then you can automatically come out. So if you end up in there for up to five times and you've not been able to come out, then you can come out for free without having to roll the two evens or the two odds, yeah? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Anna. And that's the You're end welcome. of Race Infinity. And Race Infinity, is it fun? It's very fun. Yeah, sometimes it's hilarious, isn't it? Yes. Very, very funny, all the things that happen in there. Yeah. How many times have you played Race to Infinity? More than 150. More than 150 times. And your brother has also played it how many times? More than 150. More than 150 times, yes. And what happened when you were playing Race to Infinity? You've been playing Race to Infinity since age four, when it had